So I'm Sam Jensen, and today we're going to show you boundary fill and turning automation inside a Gen 4 display. Pull in a 16 roll 1775 plan. So right now on my screen we are going to do boundary fill so on there you can see my big pink line is my boundary with a good driven boundary with an rtk receiver you can do boundary fill so it this guidance line instead of doing a normal a b curve or a b line you can hit boundary fill and it'll it will mirror the boundary that you have driven so we're going to come up on this line as soon as this line head north-south lights up, you hit your auto steer button. It's going to take it back. And you can see we have flags set out, so you can watch the corner of the planter. And as we come up to these flags, you're going to see it follow along with those flags right on there. Just barely misses it by a little. So now with this couple curves coming up, to watch it with that RTK boundary, as long as there's a good driven boundary, it'll follow it as close as it possibly can. And now, I'm gonna show you turning automation. So, you cannot use turning automation with boundary fill, so we hit swap track, and now we are set up on just a normal AB line, so I'm gonna turn around here, and now we are currently I'm going to do turn automation so if you hit this button here it's going to show you on your screen your turn we'll increase our speed here hit our auto steer button again we have a set speed that is as soon as you hit your auto steer button it'll set your speed within the field and then when you get to the end of the field to make the turn it'll slow down the tractor and turn on the field so now it tells you you're coming up to your boundary mark and on here, you can see our curve on the display there. So here comes a tractor. Your white line is where your tractor is gonna go and your green line is your receiver. Now, it's gonna turn. I'm not touching the steering wheel, not touching anything. It's gonna make your curve for you. Turn it all the way around. And with limited space here, we have it on a tight curve. And in the field situations, you can tune it to make a big light bulb turn or make wider turns as you see fit. So now it's going to come back onto the line, straighten out the planter, and that's going to simulate dropping down the implement. And now it's going to start your coverage map again. So here, within your settings, you can go in here, and this is where you find your sequences. So you can see our field speed, our turn speed, and then inside of here, when you go into a headland, you're coming to the end of the field, like we are here shortly, it's gonna pick up the implement, slow down, and then make our turn, and then as soon as you enter back into the headland, it's gonna drop our implement and speed up to our field cruising speed. So that's how that works. And now you can see it says executing the turn. Number one is complete, so it picked up the implement and then it's going to turn and then it's going to drop it back down and now you're back up to your cruising speed that's how turning automation works 